What's going on YouTube? This is Coach Fred Tagalog with Machine Mods. Today, I'm going to be talking about the review of the remote-controlled um, battery disconnect. Now, I have it for a while already. Uh, I have it on my 2021 Tundra, 2022 Camaro SS, and I have, it, I have it for more than six months. And it works really well. Uh, it does its job, and um, I don't get any more battery drains because I hardly use these two trucks or two cars. I don't use it a lot. Um, my main concern back then or my experience back then, after a week or so, the battery is drained. With this disconnect, the battery is no longer drained. So, and it's a great thing. Um, it saves my battery. And another features that, um, that gives me uh, is a peace of mind. Because when I turn on or when I turn off and disconnect my battery with the remote control, the car and the, or the truck is disabled. No one can start it no more. It will not start. So it acts like an anti-device, anti-jacking device, anti-jack. Is that the word, anti-jack? Basically, they can't steal your car because it won't start. Or if I'm in a gas station, uh, I, tr I activate the battery disconnect. I turn it off. If anyone approaches me and asks for my key, I'll give them my keys. Um, but they won't be able to start the truck or the car. I'll just go ahead and give them the, the keys and I'll run away opposite direction where they're going. And they won't be able to start the truck or the car. All right. That gives me time to call the police and... Uh, and stop them from continuing on to try to start or attempt to start my car. So that's a great uh, feature uh, of this. So one, uh, one, it can save your battery. Two, it acts like a um, anti-jacking device. And um, also, um, what I would like to mention about this video is um, a lot of people's concern that their electronics could be disrupted or destroyed because of the battery being disconnected on and off. I had this system for more than six months. Um, I've driven my cars far from here to LA, to Riverside, to uh, San Francisco, to Arizona. I mean, we're talking six, eight, 10 hour drive and no it didn't fail on me it works really uh, really well and it does its job and that it also gives me peace of mind you know like when I travel like uh, when I travel to Arizona I don't know the neighborhood I don't know who's gonna jack me I go to a gas station shut, shut off my battery disconnect I pump my gas anyone's gonna try to jack me they won't be able to start the car, even if I do give them the remote control of the car or the truck. But without the battery disconnect uh, remote control, they can't start the car. It gave me a peace of mind. Um, oh, excuse me, I'm falling asleep. All right, so the main cons oh, one, of the, one of the biggest main concerns that the YouTubers are asking me is, does it ruin the electronic system? The answer is no. In my experience, I have no, exp uh, no uh, electronic problem. My truck is brand new, 2021. Um, and then my 22, 2022 Camaro SS, that's all brand new. And I don't have any issues with the electronic system. All right, so I'll tell you how I operate the truck. And then I'll, I'll tell you about the, the car after. So the truck, once I shut off the engine... I lock the car, of course, and then I activate the, uh, the battery disconnect remote. I turn it off. And then to confirm that action, I go ahead, use the, the, uh, the truck remote control. I press lock. I will not hear any beeping sound or any locking sound. And that tells me and it confirms me that the battery is already disconnected. Now, if I want to use the truck again, 
I have to turn on the battery disconnect. I press on, the battery disconnect recloses. It introduces the battery uh, potential back to the system. And then I can use my remote control uh, normal. Uh, uh, open and close the door, or I mean, excuse me, op unlock and lock. So I can just get inside the truck like normal. Now with this, uh, because of this disconnect, once the battery is reclosed for the very first time, meaning the disconnect is reclosed, the battery is now powering the, the truck system for the very first time. The truck, if you just press start, it will turn on and then shuts off. That's the way the computer set that it has to do that to reset its system. So you press start, the engine starts up, shuts off, and then if you press restart, uh, it'll turn the truck on again, and then it will never shut off. And then from that point on, it runs normal, the way you expect it to run. What I have been doing is after I initially turn on the battery disconnect to power up the truck, I get inside my Toyota 2021 Tundra, I press the uh, start button and hold it to turn on the accessory uh, system or accessories. I press the button to start, but I'm not starting the, the truck. I push the button, hold it, and then the truck uh, turns on all the lights inside the dash. The um, navigation turns on and everything. And then after that, uh, I would say about 30 seconds or maybe close to a minute, um, I can go ahead and start the truck normal and I won't have that uh, turn on and shut down and turn it back on problem. The navigation system, I don't have to reset anything. The navigation stereo system, um, it recognizes my cell phone, so it connects to my cell phone right away so I can play my music. Uh, the navigation is normal. Uh, there's no problem with that. And I don't have to reset anything. I don't have to adjust anything. I just go ahead and drive my truck and, and that's it. So I don't have any issues with it. And to me, I'm happy with the system. Uh, they give me a peace of mind. Uh, my battery won't drain. Two, uh, it's going to be harder for them to steal my truck. All right. So now let's talk about my Camaro 2022 Camaro SS. So I shut off the engine and then I, I get out of the car, close the door, and then I use my, my uh, Camaro's uh, remote control to lock it. So the, tr uh, the car is locked and then with the uh, battery disconnect remote control, I turn it off. And then to confirm that action, I go ahead and press lock on my Camaro uh, remote control and I won't hear any um, locking mechanism trying to operate. And I wouldn't hear any uh, honking of the horn. So that tells me that the battery is already disconnected. All right, so that's how I confirm the action of the battery uh, remote control. Now, if I want to use the car again, I have to turn on the battery disconnect remote control, press on. And then I can um, turn on, or then I can basically uh, get inside my car as normal, the way you normally use or you get in your car. Now, sometimes the Camaro, the alarm system starts uh, turning on the, the alarm system. The, the, the honking of the horn, it just turns on. Um, I just press unlock and then it shuts off. It does that sometimes um, when I'm not expecting it. So I have to figure out what's causing the alarm to turn on. Because last time, oh, you know what? I know what happened. When I don't lock it, okay, so here we go. So when I don't lock it, I shut off the engine, close the door, and if I don't lock it, and then shut off the battery, and then turn it, turn the battery back on. 
the alarm won't go off. But if I shut off the engine, lock, close the door, lock the, the doors with my remote, and then shut off the battery with the remote control, and then let's say I go back and turn on the battery uh, remote control to on, that's when the alarm honking horn uh, sets off. That's when I say, that's it, that's it. All right, so now it makes sense. All right, so now I, I get inside the car. Um, of course, you already uh, disabled the, the uh, alarm. The, the, honk, the honking of the horn stops because you press unlock. So you're inside the car. Now, what I do is the same thing what I do with my truck. I, I, I press the clutch only. I press the, the start button. And then I hold it till all the lights uh, in the dash turns on. So now my accessory is on. And I wait about maybe 10, 15 seconds. And once it's on, I'll put my foot on the brake and keep my clutch, <clears throat> uh, my clutch um, pushed in. So I got the clutch in, uh, brake in, or brake on, clutch in. And I push the button to start, it starts right up. No problem. If, if I just get inside the car without initially turning on the accessory on, let's say, uh, let me uh, start this from the beginning. Let's say I turn on the battery. So now the battery's disconnect is closed. Now it's energizing and powering the Camaro. I get inside the Camaro using my remote control. And if I go ahead and just start start the, uh, the car with the push button the car starts up and then shuts off just like the tundra um so to go around that to circum uh, circumvent that what i do is i turn on the auxil uh, auxiliary or the accessory on for a few seconds maybe 10 15 seconds and then start it up then i don't have that issue <laughs> The computer system has to have power on and, and have the accessory on for, for, you know, less than 30 seconds or so just to reset everything so that you can start your car uh, with no problem. Um, I've used my car. I, I drive my car really fast. I hit my corners. Um, I hit corners a lot, you know, because it's a sports car. It has that, you know the available 6.3 uh, horsepower torque. I mean, it's fun driving that car, the Camaro SS, and I, I, I run it really hard. And that's the reason why I bought it, because it's a fun car to drive. I mean, it whoops ass, it kicks ass. I mean, motherfucker, this thing is awesome. I love it. All right, so you know, <laughs> enough of that. So I don't have any issues with the battery disconnect system i don't have a check engine light and that's an american car man i don't have any issues at all so the battery doesn't get drained that's one benefit the second benefit is carjacking it's an anti-carjacking device and once again when i go to the gas station when i'm filling up gas i shut off that battery so in case somebody comes up to me uh, you know, at gunpoint, asking me for the remote. If they can have the remote, I'll just run opposite direction. They won't be able to start my Camaro SS. So they're not going to get to steal it. And that gives me enough time to call the cop. I mean, hopefully the cop gets there, you know. So that's two benefits I, I, that I, 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 I get from that device system. Uh, that ant that anti I mean the battery disconnect with remote system and that device is actually giving me the comfort the ease the the um, the peace of mind and the um, but the, because I'm always not I'm always out of town you know go, uh, traveling doing business 
and uh, I don't use the car or truck that much, the battery doesn't drain. I mean, it, it, it holds this battery because it's not being used, it's not connected to the system. So I don't have any battery problem, no discharge. Two, I get the anti-jacking uh, system with it, and um, it just gives me the peace of mind. So the electronic system, I know you guys out there are very skeptical. I, well, I'm going to tell you guys the truth. I don't have any problems with it. All right. I don't have problems with my Camaro or my truck and I love it. I, I would do it again if I have another car that I want to save from being carjacked or um, with my lifestyle, uh, being, having uh, to avoid any battery discharge, I'll put it on. The, the cost of that device is about $30, I believe. It's not that expensive. I got it from Amazon. Um, I will try to put the link on this video so you guys can look it up. But if, if I don't get to do it, because I can't find the link uh, right now, because I'm, I'm on my way to uh, go to my friend and uh, we have to sell some, some stuff, so... I basically, I'm busy. But anyways, um, message me, leave me some message, and I'll get you that link. Um, but I will put the two links uh, on the video, on the comment section, on how I installed the battery disconnect with the remote for the 2021 Tundra and the 2022 Camaro SS. It's not that hard. And it's reliable. If... I'll do another review, maybe another year or two years from now, to keep you guys updated. So this review of the battery disconnect with the remote system or remote uh, control, this review is it's a one-year review, basically. Um, and I'm telling you, I love it. All right, guys, so don't forget to like, uh, subscribe if you're new to this channel. And I will be making more videos. And if there's any video you guys like me to make, hit me up. I'll make the videos. Remember, guys, I am a ASC certified mechanic. All right. I went to school and I did work as a mechanic for a living. I did pay my mortgage as a mechanic. Um, that's pretty much it, guys. So go ahead and hit that, that like button with this channel and thank you so much for supporting my channel and i'll see you next video